Hey everybody, it's TR back with another RV how-to video. Well, again, not so specific to RVs, but I'm going to be cleaning my couch today. The law of unintended consequences jumped up and bit me. Well, not really, because I knew it needed to be cleaned. But in a previous uh, project and video, I replaced these lights, these uh, sconces. And then I also replaced these overhead lights here, you know. So these are now LED, and before they were halogens. It surely shows uh, how dirty the couch is, <clears throat> especially like up here. So we're going to take a little bit of time and clean it. So I like Phoebe's saddle soap. This is white saddle soap. I don't think it really matters. I've used the cream or tan colored saddle soap, but I was out, so I just bought a new tin of this white saddle soap. I like this mint, because it's got these scrubby bits on it. And so, I'm just gonna get it a little wet. And we're just gonna grab a little bit of soap. Get a good amount of soap on there. All right. And then just start scrubbing. More water. Wow, that was really dirty, wasn't it? We'll turn it over. Good microfiber towel. You can really see the difference right there. But there's the before. out really good so I think I'll wrap this up a little bit of saddle soap this isn't real leather it's pleather or that fake leather but uh, this stuff works like a charm it leaves it nice and soft and supple it doesn't harden up the leather I don't want to use any of those uh, sprays or w you know any of that uh, I guess armor all is what I'm looking for uh, I don't like this stuff but I do like this so if you found value in this video I'd appreciate that thumbs up those are always helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and do all those social things. So I think you get the idea. You don't have to use a scrubbing mat. You know, you can just use a plain old wash rag. It's no big deal. But what I have found is that if you have like wrinkles in the fabric, that if you just pull the fabric taut and then scrub in the wrinkle, they clean right up. So I'll do the rest of the furniture in here as time permits. And then uh, after I get through with all the other projects I've got going on, because I've got a couple other projects I'm working on right now, painting the walls and doing some of that kind of stuff. Once I get those projects done, then the last thing I do is I'll go through and I'll clean the ceiling. Same process, same mitt, same soap, and I just scrub all the ceilings down and then wipe them down, and then we'll be good for spring. You can get your own can of Feebling's Saddle Soap. This stuff's good on everything leather, 
and even pleather as you've seen me demonstrate here there's a link in the description below to my Amazon store where you can pick this up it's three bucks or something like that it's pretty inexpensive and it works really good don't forget as an Amazon affiliate I do gain a small commission for everything you purchase from my store or through my store but you paid the exact same amount and I'll tell you trying to keep a YouTube channel going every little bit helps so thank you if you can support the channel I have lots of other RV how-to videos on my channel. I guess this isn't too specific to just RVs. You could do this on any couch that you have in your house. But I do have a lot of other RV how-to videos already on my channel. Everything from maintaining your generator to building these sconces that I mentioned at the beginning of the video to painting the walls to repairing my broken kitchen table. So please check out my channel for more great RV how-to videos. But we're going to call this project done. Thanks for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Till we get together for another RV how-to video. Peace.